Dear viewers and subscribers, welcome to Minikun Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate quartiles for a given numeric variable and how to also calculate quartiles for a particular group of your numeric variable. In other words, how do you calculate quartiles for a subgroup of your numeric variable? So, first of all, it's important to remember that we have three quartiles, right? We have the lower or what we call the first quartile then we have the middle or what we call the second quartile or better still what we call the median and then we have the third quartile also known as the upper quartile so i'm actually making this video thanks to um one of my viewers or patreon subscriber who goes by the name um let me quickly show you who goes by the name kerry lewis so kerry lewis wherever you are thank you so much for your comment okay so i previously made a video on how to calculate um column mean and actually mean for subgroups of a particular column or variable in ror studio so Kerry, after watching this particular video, thanked me for um, this particular video and I'm glad that, it, I mean, the video was helpful but asked me, do you know how I can find out the lower quartile for one particular group in R, please? Okay, so Kerry was actually requesting for a video or if you want a solution to how to actually calculate the lower quartile for a particular group in R but I've decided to make it um, more interesting by first of all showing you how to calculate quartile for any given numeric variable and secondly how you can actually calculate quartile for a particular group or subgroups of what your numeric variable now talking about uh, subgroups of a numeric variable Assuming I have the, the numeric variable H, okay, I could choose to calculate first quartile, second quartile, or the median, and then third quartile for what? A variable H, right? But in some cases, you might be interested in calculating quartiles for subgroups. Whenever you hear of groups, sorry, I'm so sorry about that. Let me put my phone on silent. Sorry for that. I'm so so sorry so whenever you hear of uh, subgroups or let's say categories of a particular given variable it simply means we are um, interested in what we are when we are talking about groups for us to have groups of a particular numeric variable we must have a categorical a categorical variable okay that is to say, for instance, if we are talking about, um, let's say, the age of a class, okay, so we can have data collected for the ages of what students in a class, but after which we may be interested in what, interested particularly in the ages of, let's say, women. Now, women here is a subgroup of what the say ages of women would be simply a subgroup of all the ages of the class right or we might be interested in ages of men we might be interested in what um let's say ages of tall people ages of short people and ages of maybe medium sized people so all these are categories so whenever we talk of a category it means we are referring to what we are saying this with respect to a given qualitative or um, categorical variable okay because that's what defines like and this uh, for instance if we are talking about men and women our categorical variable here will be what gender so gender defines the category women and the category men right so i hope my explanation is clear if we are talking about um I think my explanation is clear let's just move on so 
without much ado i'll show you how you can actually calculate quartiles for a given numeric variable like age and how you can also calculate quartiles for subgroups such as men or women of the same numeric variable age for instance so to do this i have a data set on the desktop and i'll simply read it into r and show you how we can do that so as usual to read data into r you use um, I prefer using read or CSV because the file that I have is actually a CSV file. If you have difficulties in reading data into R, please check in my channel youtube.com slash at menunkun. Okay, so this actually let me write it here for you. Anytime you want videos, statistical um, content or biostatistical biostatistics related content public health related content epidemiology related content simply come to youtube.com dot com uh, slash at menunkun okay and you find all my content this is actually my youtube channel anyway so let, let's that was just by the way i'm trying to uh, let me put it on top okay so for those who might be interested in revisiting my channel just come to youtube.com slash at minukun and you minukun tutorials tutorials and you'll find all my videos right so Real much I do let me read a data set into R. So I would name my data set data with capital D. Okay, data. So here you say less than or equal or hyphen or just put equal sign is the same, whichever one that you want. Then I'll use read.csv because my file is actually a CSV file. So open bracket. Now go to the desktop and I have my file here, which I, I called my data. So I simply right click on it, click on properties, then click on security, and then copy the object name, in other words the full file path which is right here, select and copy everything, and then come to your R or R studio, and then open quotations and you simply paste it there. Okay. Then close the quotations, close your brackets. Whichever way or whichever method that you are conversant with, kindly use that. Okay. I like reading data set into R using um, this method, read or CSV, whichever way. Okay, it depends on the nature of your file, of course. And then you have to change this. Either you put two back slashes or you put one for a slash. okay all right so without much ado let's read the data set into r now I'll show you what it contains so r has read the data without any problem and to show you the contents i simply say print into brackets data sorry data with capital d So if I should run this, this is our data set right here. Okay, so it's a simple data set. Okay, it's just a simple data set. All right, here it is. Here's our data set. Okay, so it's, sim it's just a simple data set of uh, 14 students in a class, for instance or patients okay let's just say 14 patients so we have the patient id we have the gender the age the weight the st status diagnosis status and then the year of birth for instance so for this particular data set um first of all before you proceed with any statistical analysis it's always important to make sure that you verify the nature of your variables bear in mind that all this while i keep saying if we are interested in calculating quartiles of a particular numeric variable i'm not just saying that for fun it's simply because we cannot calculate quartiles for categorical variables and i'm very very sure that you yourself you are aware that we cannot calculate 
um, let's say quartiles for a categorical variable like gender is not possible however we can calculate quartiles for a numeric variable like age now when I'm talking about calculating quartiles for subgroups of a numeric variable it means we are interested in calculating the ages of let's say men or the ages of women if the variable has more than two um, modalities or responses then it could be either of them okay by here is, is dichotomy so either we want the, to calculate the quartiles for uh, men or the quartiles for women so to so to it's important to first of all make sure you verify the nature of your variables because sometimes when you read data into R, R, R may um, recognize a numeric variable as a categorical variable or a factor so it's important to verify and do all the necessary corrections before you start now so to do to verify the nature of your data set is you simply type str into brackets data Now, R is telling us that, um, you know, so the um, variables of interest is H. R is saying it's an integer, that is okay. Integer or numeric is okay. Um, gender is a character or a factor. Mm -hmm. You know, character, that's categorical, that's perfect. So we can proceed. So let's assume, first of all, we will calculate the um, calculate quartile the quartile for let's say a particular group okay so to calc sorry for a particular variable numeric variable so let's assume we want to calculate quartile for age so our first interest is to calculate one step number one or our first the first part of our tutorial will have you calculate what quartile calculating quartile well, we have to calculate sorry quartile for variable h for instance okay so how do you calculate the quartile for variable h so to calculate the quartile for variable h simply say summary okay now one thing you should understand is that quartiles and um you know first quarter second quarter first of all we have the minimum when describing a numeric variable we describe it often the statistical summary of a numeric variable include what the quarter the the, the minimum the first quartile or what we call the lower quartile the second quartile and or the median and then we have the third quartile and then finally we have what the the maximum so this is how we describe a numeric variable like age so to do this we simply calculate the statistical summary of the variable and it will provide us with all this so how do we calculate the summary of what age so we simply say summary into brackets data then we use the dollar sign to select the variable of interest which is age so H is written as A capital A G E. A G E. Okay. If I should run this. So here we go. So we have the minimum, which is 10. So if you look at the data set, the minimum H here is 10. R has given us the first or what we call the lower quartile, which is uh, 12.25 here then we have the median or what we call the second quarter or the middle quarter which is 15 now we have the mean okay and then we have the third quartile or the upper quartile and we have the maximum so um, that is just it with regards to calculating quartile for a particular numeric variable now, if we are interested in, okay, sorry, if we are interested in, so second part, if we are interested in calculating quartile for what? A particular group, a particular group or a subgroup of the variable, a subgroup 
or if you want a particular group this is just uh, i mean depend on your choice of ways a subgroup or a particular group of the variable the numeric variable so how do we do that we are interested in calculating the quartile for this or of a, for a subgroup or a particular group of the numeric variable then how do we do that assume we want to calculate the quartile for women okay or men how do we do that so that which means we we'll do the calculation in respect to what the variable gender so our so let's let's just do that okay so how do we do that so we will have to say summary once again then we open brackets and then we would say data dollar sign h now so that is to say quartiles are calculated for numeric variables so as usual we have to calculate quartiles for the numeric variable h however this time around we are interested in the subgroup of let's say men or women so we have to open square brackets and then we would indicate data dollar sign um, h okay then we put press the equal sign twice to specify the category that you are interested in or the subgroup that you are interested in so which means we want the subgroup of what sorry i'm so sorry about that um, dollar sign not h but this time dollar sign what's the name of the categorical variable that defines these groups is what gender so dollar sign gender here okay if you write the variables as it is written so it's gender with capital g so gender then we put equal sign here to press equal sign twice so here we are saying we have to calculate the quartile for h but we are specifying with the help of the square bracket we are selecting the category which is what um, the gender category which is equal to what let's say women or men if you're interested in that of men so women then i'll put open quotations and then you write what what is the the rest the, the for men is we code it as m capital m if it's a woman that's male and female so if it's for women then it's f for women so f okay now you close the square brackets and then you close your bracket if i should run this i will actually calculate the it will give us the full statistical summary of what the subgroup men or women for that matter sorry women so let's do that so if i should run this so r is providing us with what so if you have to look at the minimum um women or the the, the minimum age of the women is what 11 the first or the lower quartile is this so this is what um, Kerry was requesting, but I've actually done more than that. Okay, I've done for yes a numeric variable, and now that of a, the numeric variable, sorry, a subgroup of the numeric variable. Like in our case, we're interested in females or women. So the lower quartile is giving us 12.5. The second quartile or the median is 19. Mean is 18. Point this, and then you know, 18.75. Third quartile is what. Uh, 25.25 and then the maximum is 26 thank you so much for watching and please subscribe